first part of this experiment is the penetration test, which is used to determine the consistency of an asphalt binder. Place the transfer dish containing the prepared specimen on the base of the penetration apparatus. Lower the needle so the tip just makes contact with the surface of the sample. This needle should be one centimeter away from the sides of the container and one centimeter away from any previous penetration locations. Set the dial to zero. Then, release the needle holder to start the penetration of the asphalt. Stop the penetration test after five seconds and take a reading from the dial. After the measurement, clean the needle with trichloroethylene. Repeat these steps to record two more penetration readings. This portion of the experiment will involve preparing an asphalt paving specimen. Take the pre-prepared oven dried aggregate and asphalt binder out of the oven and mix until the asphalt coats the aggregate thoroughly. Take a temperature reading of the sample. If the sample is not at 140 degrees, place the sample back in the oven until the correct temperature is reached. Ensure that the collar is placed on the mold as the sample should exceed the height of the mold. Place a piece of release paper inside the preheated mold. Then place the entire sample into the mold. Bathe the specimen with a spatula 15 times around the perimeter and 10 times in the middle. Ensure that the spade reaches the bottom of the mold for every stroke. Place a piece of release paper on top of the specimen. Place the mold on the pedestal of the martial apparatus and secure with the clamp. Apply 50 blows to the specimen using the compacting hammer. Take the specimen out of the apparatus and remove the collar from the mold. Remove the base of the mold and place it on the opposite side of the specimen. Push the specimen onto the base until the base is reattached to the mold. If needed, use a mallet to make the mold lower to the base. Place the specimen back in the martial apparatus and apply 50 blows. Remove the specimen from the martial apparatus and allow it to cool overnight. In part 3 of this experiment, the martial stability and flow values will be found, which are used for mixed design and evaluation of asphalt paving. First begin by taking the diameter measurement of your mortar puck using a vernier caliper. Next, take 4 height measurements of your mortar puck and take the average of these for your calculations later on. Immerse the specimen in a water bath for 30 minutes so that the specimen is brought to a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. Once the specimen has reached the required temperature, remove it from the water bath and make sure to dry it well with a towel. After coating the inside surface of your braking head with WD-40, place your specimen in the lower section of the braking head, making sure to center it appropriately. Then place the upper section on top. Once the upper section has dropped, make sure to give it one last final push. Place the entire assembly into the Marshall Stability Machine. Raise the platform until there is a reading and set the stability gauge to zero. Install the flow gauge and set it to zero. Apply a load at a constant rate of 50 millimeters per minute 
and count the number of full rotations made on the stability gauge until it slows down. Once the load starts to decrease, stop the application of load and take readings for the maximum load and the corresponding deformation. Also take a reading for the flow gauge. Remove the braking head from the Marshall Stability Machine and remove your specimen from the braking head sections. Use WD-40 to clean the inside surfaces of the braking head. This will prevent rusting.